the world's most advanced display. That is what they are claiming on Apple's website. This brand new technology is called Tandem OLED, and Apple is actually going to be calling it the Ultra Retina XDR display. This is essentially two OLEDs stacked together to create a brilliant display that is going to give you high brightness and high efficiency. So this is not going to be an OLED TV. This is an iPad. And it's going to be packed into one of the thinnest designs I've ever seen. And what Apple is claiming as their thinnest product ever at 5.1 millimeters. It has 1000 nits full screen brightness. Like that is an insane figure for an OLED display. And it says that it also has 1600 nits peak HDR brightness. So this thing is going to be absolutely incredible for watching Netflix or any of your favorite apps that have HDR, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, I think is just an incredible display. I'll be picking it up myself because I'm not only going to be utilizing this for uh, entertainment enjoyment, but I also think it's going to be a great creation tool as well, which I'll talk about in just a second. And the display itself is capable of 10 to 120 hertz refresh rate. So it has a variable refresh rate that can adjust depending on what you're watching or depending on what you're doing to conserve battery life. It also makes full usage of the P3 wide color gamut, which is a nice thing to have when you're talking about a OLED display. You want to be able to watch the content and see the color displayed uh, properly. And P3 is where you will want to be for your color space in most content. And what's also interesting is that they are saying that there's a reference mode for color accurate workflows. So for anybody that is in the pro field, you may be able to utilize this within your workflow. Um, and that's a very exciting thing. I personally do some video editing and graphics design work myself, so I'm very excited about this product. It is a product that I was probably going to buy either way, but I am excited to cover it on this channel and I hope that you guys are excited to hear about it. And you're probably wondering who's making this display? Well, it's either going to be LG display or Samsung display. They both have been developing tandem OLEDs for a little bit now and it's been rumored that they're going to be working with Apple for their iPad Pro. So it's probably either going to be from LG display or Samsung display but essentially they're the same type of tandem OLED panel. So on top of the display, it's also going to be using Apple's most advanced chip yet thus far, and that is the M4. And Apple's M series processors are always going to be really good, really efficient, and for the price, it's gonna be hard to beat this performance. On top of that, they have made updates to a lot of their productivity apps, which is going to make the iPad even more of a treat to use. Um, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. If anybody is an artist or um, in the creative field, then you'll be happy to know that they also redesigned the Apple Pencil as well. And this thing can kind of replace a laptop for a lot of people as it does also have the option to use the new Magic Keyboard. And, you know, I've used the Magic Keyboard on a past iPad and I actually think it does do a really good job of replacing a laptop for a lot of people. And for travel, I could definitely see myself replacing a laptop with this going forward. So let's look at the display specs here. As you can see, the 11 inch is going to have 2420 by 1668 pixel resolution at 264 pixels per inch. And then the 13 inch is going to have 2752 by 2064 pixel resolution at 264 pixels per inch. You got the same pixel per inch. So if you factor that into your decision, you know, just get the one that kind of fits you the best. And aside from the actual display size, it doesn't look like there's any difference between the 11 inch and 13 inch model as far as the display goes. It also seems that the chip itself, the cameras, the video recording, and everything else is going to be the same regardless of what size you're getting. Although with the camera, it is worth noting that the 256 gigabyte version is not going to support ProRes for 4K. So you're probably wondering how much is this thing gonna cost? Well, it starts at 999 for the 11 inch model and 13 inch model is 1299. Now you can customize this, add more storage to it. You can even add a nano texture display glass to it if you're using one terabyte or two terabyte models, but it will get really pricey at that point. 
when you customize it. I'm still on the fence on which model I want to get. If you guys are interested in pre-ordering the iPad Pro, I do have the affiliate links in the description below if you want to support the channel. And Apple is saying that it's going to be released next week. So that's really exciting to hear and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Anyway, short video today, guys. I just really wanted to talk about this technology because I think it's really cool. Let me know, are you guys going to pick up the iPad Pro? Are you excited for this? Are you excited for the technology advancements? Um, and do you think this could ever come to TV? I know I have my doubts and I wanted to know your guys' opinion on it, uh, kind of gauge interest to see if I should pick this up and review it for the channel. I mean, I'm going to pick it up regardless. I just want to know, do you guys want to see a review video on it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.